Hello there, this is Billy. Last time I created the Ring FM Crystal Radio. So this time I want to change just the coil and keep everything else the same and compare the performance, see whether there's any difference. First, let's measure the capacitance. It's around 19 PF to 4 PF. The inductance of the big ring is 0 0.086 microhenry. Uh, the wire for the big ring is 3 millimeter. For the smaller coil we are going to make, we can't use the 3 millimeter wire because it's too thick to wind. So we use this 2 millimeter diameter copper wire instead. So we use the AAA cell to wind 5 or 6 turns for the FM radio. It's not winding. This is a two millimeter thick wire. Turns is enough. Okay. Let me cut it. Then we can expand it. That it can be mounted over here. This is the resulting color. Let me measure the diameter. So around sixteen around fourteen to fifteen millimeter. And the length is around 21 millimeter, 22 millimeter. Okay, next we will solder it onto this variable capacitor, like this. Okay, we better connect this for another four or five turns for the antenna. And we can hook it up here. Okay, so this is something like this. We'll solder it first. So after that, let's measure the inductance. It's a bit smaller than the big ring loop. Uh, it's around 0 0.061 microhenry, which will fit uh, our variable capacitor better. Okay, so I've finished the soldering. So this is the new coil. Uh, the second turn connects to the S pole. The other part are the same. There's only one additional coil for connecting the antennas. So we'll be able to uh, 
put in the speedy cube so we can test it. Okay, that's it. Before testing the new radio, let's replay the video from the Ring FM Crystal radio so we can compare. Now let's play the testing video for this small coil version. In general, I find this small coil version a little bit sharper, clearer, uh, and similar output volume when compared with the big ring FM crystal radio. Toronto 